How's it going, everybody? Josh KI6NAZ. I'm here at Roll Tech today with Julian and George. George and Julian are mainly some of the big producers for the Chameleon antenna, and the parts they make go directly into the antennas that you see on the Chameleon website, on my videos, and out in the field if you're using them. We're going to take a quick roll around the, the shop here and have George show us around, so stay tuned, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video today. Just want to remind everybody, this was shot live in the Rolltech manufacturing factory and uh, it is obviously time of COVID, so the audio is a little wonky. We're wearing masks, there's machinery in the background. So just keep that in mind. I did the best I can with the audio, but yeah, thanks for watching. Onward. How long does it take to run this batch? Uh, so we're currently working at about 300. Uh, it takes about two days to do 300. Wow. Yeah, so yesterday I got through about 150. So we should be finishing up the other 100. And that's for the uh, the the F-loop. The F so this is oh, for no. the F-loop right. rebase. Got it, got it. Uh, basically what we're doing is you're, you have your ground, hot wire, Right. And you're just using the machine to pop the holes, basically, right? Yeah. Holes. Yeah. This is one of the simpler ones, um, but the machine really helps us to move things. Oh, through. sure. Yeah. Um, How long does it take to run through that program? About three minutes. Oh, wow. So it's just three. Um, that's mostly because I got a couple right now to get the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a whole lot of them here. Yeah, we're hoping to get them up to the house today. Do you wrap the toroids and whatnot that go into it? Or um, I do, yeah, I actually, so we used to do them all, or I used to do them here all um, a few years ago. Once they moved to Reno, they mostly do all the assembly out there now. Got it. Um, now that we've gotten a lot more busy, I'm doing a little bit. I actually have some more. Oh, cool. So just to kind of offset the, you know, the demand for it, so I have a ton of toroids. These are for all the micros. I got some M. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some. Uh, so you do the installation, but you're, those are kind of pre pre cooked. Yeah, so I, we do all these. These are all bead, raw beads right here. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, we're doing. What do you run them through? Things. Does this? What is it? So this is actually a really cool gadget. This is um, an automatic. Uh, stripper and cuts wire for me. Oh, okay. So I feed it through there and I can tell it any length and it'll... Oh, so then you just... Strip it. Right, right, right. On both ends. Um, so we and then you take that for the uh, setup for the toroids. Yeah, and then we have a crimping machine as well. So then you have all the crimping here. Cool! Um, we do all the copper as well. So... Oh, wow. So you cut all the copper, um, so you can build, build the toroid here. Is this the building desk for the toroid? This is the building desk. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> is where the magic desk, happens? You can see all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but here's the one I actually broke some of the beads on there, but you can kind of see yeah. how it goes there. Yeah, they can be fragile. They're very fragile. This is another one I broke, I dropped it. Again. Oh, that's for the empath, so that's the mini, this the micro? The for the micro, yeah. yeah. Um, and that'll be the, the small ones that go there. Cool. And then it, same with those, we do, this is all the copper used for the small ones. Yep, yep. Um, and then we solder them and, and wire them up here. So the majority of the assembly and the building, all the transformers and stuff is done in Reno. Right. Um, but again, to kind of offset how busy we've been, I'm doing it a little bit again here. So we're actually now shipping raw parts like we have been for the past couple of years. And we're also shipping assemble units on Yeah. And that's largely because you said the volume is yes, just the volume, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's great. It's so much. Yeah, you've got you've got an impressive shop here. You've got like so many tools, so many things going on. This is the the microphone the impacts. So we're working on those here. And these are start out as these Delrin pieces, right? Yeah. And then they get turned out. Yeah. 
Oh, that guy. This, this little guy here. And so it actually starts out like this here. So you got these blanks. Yeah. Nice. We feed it through the uh, light there. And that's kind of your stop for a lot of things you were saying, right? Including yeah. the knob for the Knobs. for the, the loop control for the F-loop. F-loops. The minis, or, uh, the hybrid minis are also... Oh, yeah, that's big, the body. They're, they're a little bigger. Oh, that is big, huh? Yeah. So compared to the micro, and actually, really cool, do we have the... So this is the micro. You can kind of see the evolution oh, yeah. of it here. Wow, um, look at that. And then, actually, the original one, which is like discontinued maybe like eight years ago, this is what the original one it was just the high. Wow, so look at that. Kind of see the, There's the progression. The progression, yeah. Of how and you guys do, I mean, this is all This is all what you're working on too, is, yeah. is coring so this we out. It all out. Wow. We got rid of this, it was too big and bulky. Yeah, for sure. Down to this. But yeah, as you can see. Oh, man. <laughs> very big there. It did, it worked great. Um, but we were able to kind of bring it down to this. Now. Yeah, so same capability, but you just you're, yeah. you're stepping it down in size and weight. Down in the micro, and then the cool thing about uh, one thing that we're doing is we specifically hollow it out like this to really isolate right. the unit. Yeah, because you're sliding in the the yeah. two uh, toroids that are two stacked next to each other. Um, so really, because they're so fragile, it's a perfect it's a tight, tight fit. fit. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to... That's you great. You really have to... We ran... When we were first doing it, Carl actually came over and ran one over with his car just to test it. Yeah? That's stuff. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the testing that, that you do. Test, yeah. Parking lot rollover yeah. test. Rollover. I think we were, like, throwing it, seeing how high we could throw it up in yeah? there. So, it's really uh, kind of a neat fix here. Um, cool. Same with the uh, m -com. This is kind of just PVC, same principle. Solid the MCOM base, right? That goes. This is the original MCOM two. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say the base yeah. has the box, right? Yes, the base has the box. So you can see here. That's nice. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, we've changed this one up quite a few times, and uh, we're actually pretty happy with how this works. Before we used to have like three different pieces. You have a lid, a bottom center uh, and this was a new design that we did actually, uh, so that's actually there it is okay got it the prototype we made for oh the prototype so this, so this is the first yeah, the the first one we made yeah uh, and it works really good i mean it's a snap fit mm -hmm. we, obviously we seal it up right and open it um but the snap fit really helps nice pretty much the same principle yeah that's a good one too for yeah, pretty portable. One, very yeah. Portable and basic kind of start off. I have the MCOM portable and the base. The portable one. The portable one I've used multiple times. Portable, yeah. It's the one that has the butterfly, the butterfly uh, yeah. wrap on it. Actually, we have right here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Kind of, there, yeah. <laughs> kind of like this. Yeah, this just like that. Prototype. Yeah. So this is, these actually also are all made here. All of the winders, which is really Oh, cool. you make the winders. You make the winders. Oh, wow. Okay. Our, our oh yeah, there's your dot. Okay, cabinet. yeah. We gotta go on there. So we have each one will hold four. Mhm. Mm so we're making about. Oh, so you're making four, four per. Four per one. So right. About thirty-six. Right. That's great. Thirty-six. We actually just. Cool. Nice. Look at that. They come in in full, full plastic sheets. Yeah. We chop it up and then we pop them in there. And we ship them out. So impasse. You guys all do these too, and these, this is it. They're in work here. right here. So you have the anodized cut already. We get anodized. We have a couple. Uh, once we get them back, we always this color is very finicky. So we'll actually go through and make sure. Oh, that, meaning the different colorations. Yeah. So we'll actually go through, make sure that it is how it's supposed to be, and not too dark or too light. Yeah, because it's got a cool like emerald green yeah. kind of color to it on the finish. Um, and then we'll. Ream them out here, make the inserts, install the insole, and then we actually, these we do as here. When we install the top and bottoms, we actually, we will pin them through. So this is- Oh, so it's a final installation. Final you can't, installation. you can't really redo it. 
um, we can, you know, take it apart, but it's it's not, you know, we right. Don't. Um, so this will actually go, for example, right. It'll go in here, and then we'll drill and and, and know, tap it in. Tap it in. Uh, so we fully built these here. Uh, it's kind of, it, it takes a minute to do those. Yeah, this is awesome though. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Too. I, I mean, you guys have a you have a lot in here, but it seems very efficient. Like the way you have everything we, laid we out. Need to, yeah. You've been doing this for a yeah, while, I assume. Been, so we, this is a recent machine that we got. Yeah. The VF2, uh, and it's about I would say the ninety percent is for Chameleon. Okay. Uh, which is one of the reasons we got it. When we got it in, we were like, where are we going to put it? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. So we really had to reorganize. Yeah. Uh, what we have going on. That's awesome. Oh, and these are the uh, UCM clamps. Uh, for the so this is just that's a universal, accessory. right? You can yeah, you can use it for all kinds of different stuff. So these yeah, the one pieces. Yep. That came with the upgrade. Um, we actually did a two-piece section, and then we stopped doing it for a while. I guess the demand is so much. Carl's now running kind of uh, pre-orders. Yeah. So we did about uh, we did a batch. I want to say in August. Okay. Hundred and it sold for them, like in a month. We sold a hundred of them. Right. So we did another batch. And we have fifty that are pretty much already sold. Oh wow! And then same concept with these. Uh, because we we make this bottom connector, drill it and pin it here. Yep. Uh, so I actually directly ship these to all of them. Oh okay. Customers. Then I got that from you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice. There's too much cost to. Yeah. Ship over the burrito and then have them up. Yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice kind of, if you're going to, semi-permanent kind of yeah. setup for it. Yeah. You want it out in the backyard yeah, or whatever. <laughs> Those are nice. No, I mean, you could, I guess, yeah. but depending on, you know, if you're car portable. The older one was a, uh, I don't know if you've got It's like three pieces, right? Yeah, uh, we did one three piece, which was much bigger, but it never, it never actually went to like, sell. Okay. Uh, but we had one that was two pieces, so it just cut down the middle. Right. Right. But more work in parts, right? Because this is just a bend, and then the two the two fittings and the pinning. Exactly. Versus four. Versus plus four. a cut. Exactly. So. Right on. It's a lot quicker, and then this is this is the second yeah. prototype. Oh yeah, wait, nobody knows about that yet. Nobody knows about that. <laughs> no. Let's just say this. Don't tell no, you. Don't look at that. <laughs> you guys will hear about it soon enough. Um, cool. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, kind of everything we got going on. Right on. And uh, some more parts over here. Again, we get everything. Everything. What does those go? Out. What are those going to? So this will be. Um, this is for the micro for the impasse unit. So this little guy. Oh. Which goes to the oh, that's here. that's solid. That's solid. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So this, this guy here is for this. So it'll go through the blade. It'll cut it out. Got it. And, and then you got to notch it. A lot of work. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a, yeah, that's a and couple. And the the thicker one here is gonna be. These little top plates. Oh, very cool. So that all combines to make. Oh, awesome. Little, yeah. Little mic over here. Right on. So That's great. This one's red tag because somebody dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> well, George, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for showing us around. Of course. And I'm sorry, what was your brother's name again? Julian. Julian. Okay, yeah. got it. He's, yeah. He's, uh, he's the magician. He makes everything happen. So right on. That was it for him. Well, Thank you both. I mean, the the quality of the product shows, and it's nice to see. You know, this is where it's made. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we, uh, like I said, we've been doing it with Camille for a long time, and we really enjoy it. And it's good stuff. We get to make yeah. new stuff. Yeah. Modify stuff. And... Carl always had some ideas, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Carl has a lot of ideas, and so we're glad we can make them make them happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.